Good morning, Father Jeff Henry here for Thursday, 17 September, and I just happened to be in our Blessed Sacrament Chapel. I wanted to show you some of these icons to remind us that the saints are with us and always praying for us daily, even when we're going through difficult times. We have no doubt that God is with us. And I'd like to share something with you from the first reading from Mass today. And it's something St. Paul said, and, and it reminds me of what happened to me when I was, was younger, many years ago, oh, over 30 years ago. And I was talking to a friend of mine whom I looked up to. He had been a, a, a leader in education and so forth. And he asked me, or else I was sharing with him, a degree I got in administration and education and everything. And I said, well, it's, but it's just from this school. I didn't, you know, it wasn't a, a highfalutin school with a lot of prestige. It was just a, a master's degree I needed. And he looked at me and he says, Jeff, don't ever apologize for what you've done. Don't apologize or ex expect that people will look down on you for what you have and what you've done with, with uh, everything you have accomplished. And it stuck with me, in fact, till to this day. And listen to what Paul says here. He's talking about how in the, in the Jesus Christ, after he rose from the dead, he appeared to, uh, for example, Peter, and he appeared to the apostles. And then it says he appeared to 500. And then he appeared, lastly, to me, who am the least of all the apostles. But listen to what he says then. For I am the least of the apostles, not fit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. That was before he was a Christian, a follower of Jesus Christ. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace to me has not been ineffective. By the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace to me has not been ineffective. Ultimately, it doesn't matter what you're doing, how great it is or how less it is in your eyes or the eyes of other people. The question comes down to this is the grace of God, whatever God has graced you with, has it been effective in you? Have you taken that gift that God has given you, whatever it is, whatever your station in life is, wherever you are, whatever you're doing right now in your, with your daily affairs, has the grace of God been effective in it? That's what the Lord looks at. See, we, all, we used to have this saying, and one of the professors when I was in seminary, he says, oh yeah, and you're the one that's going to go to the cathedral, right? And a lot of times we look at that. We look upon success as, as a priest, perhaps as a number, as how big the parish is or how effective we are or whether we're on, on a, have a, how 3,000, 100,000 subscribers to YouTube or whatever. By the way, I'm happy with the 200 of us that are on this. God says, look, grow where you're planted. Be what you're supposed to be and don't complain. Don't apologize don't worry that somebody else is doing this or that or the other thing. You are what you are. By the grace of God, as Popeye says, I am what I am. Be what God has called you to be and see what the Lord will do with that. As uh, uh, St. Teresa of the Little Flower says, look for the little flowers. Find the glory in those. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we commit ourselves to you and we ask that you cause us to bear great fruit in everything you put towards us. By your grace, may we be effective in the grace you've given us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. I hope that you have a great day.